how to use canva for teachers in this video we will talk about how teachers can use canva graphic design tool for their everyday teaching activities as well as to generate some extra income as a side hustle and there are many ways to do that and i have been doing this for many years i will show you a few examples from my canva account and since there are many topics covered in this video there is a time stamp in the description of this video if you are only interested in a specific part just click on the time and you will reach directly to that part of the video to save you some time so without further ado let's get started after a short break hello and welcome to my channel my name is tahir and i make videos about various applications and software about educational technology if you are interested in this topic please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video on this channel so the first thing you need to do is open a free account in canva.com their free account is also very powerful and you have almost 90% of the features available in free account but the good news for teachers is that you can get a pro canva account for free and to do that you click on this education tab and then you click on teachers and schools and you will reach on this page under these teachers you click on get verified and then click on get started continue and you fill this simple form where you have to put your name and most importantly your institute's website and institutional email if you have an institutional email then you will get the approval from canva for your free premium account but because i already have canva pro so therefore i am going to skip this in order to make canva suggest me some templates for teachers what i can do is i can click on my profile then account settings and in this area where it says what you are going to use canva for i have selected teacher because this will help canva to suggest me some more templates for teachers and i'm sure that most of you already know how to use canva and this is not the main focus of this video because the main focus is how to use canva for teachers so i'm going to show you some canva tips and tricks for teachers but to start this i click on create a new design and then you can select any of these templates for example if you are making a presentation you can select this presentation and as you can see that there are many templates available you can also click on custom size and then you can put the size of your design in pixels in centimeters inches etc so i want to use a4 size so i put a4 in the search bar and i select a4 document so this video mainly has two parts first we are going to see how you can use canva in your teaching activities and then we will see how you can use canva to create your digital products that you can sell on various platforms now on canva user interface on the left hand side you have all these important tabs the first one is design where you have many templates available and normally this is the place from where you start creating your designs now the key to canva productivity is the ability to search and find a template in canva because this is what we want to do for example as a teacher you might want to create lesson plans to do that you must be in this design tab and inside this design you will see this templates and styles so you should be in templates and then you search and you must know few keywords that you will be searching as a teacher to get better results and good templates for example if i search for lesson plans press enter now i will get all these templates for lesson plans for example if i click on that that will be added to my design and this is a template for your weekly lesson plan you can customize it you can modify this for example if you want to change the background color you simply click on that and you can change it to any other color to undo the changes you simply press control z and you can customize in this way now these keywords are very important because if you don't know what keywords to use you won't be able to get good template although canva will keep suggesting you many things relevant to your current work but you as a teacher also know what is available in canva and this is the purpose of this video to give you some ideas how to search for existing designs in canva that you can customize easily and save some time another thing you can search for is worksheets 
and you will get many worksheets that you can use as a primary school teacher if you are teaching small children you should be able to find many templates for your worksheets and if you like any of these you click on that and it will be in your design and you can add pages to your design as many as you like and then finally when you are ready to make a print or to share with your students via email you can click on this share and now you can either download and when you download you can download in various formats pdf pdf print quality and also as an image but you can also send this via email and if you have created a group in gmail for example a group of your students or you might already have a group in your institutional emails then you can send this activity to a whole group so let's say you want to give some coloring assignment to your students so you can search for coloring and it will show you many existing templates and then you can print this and give it to your students for coloring exercise similarly if you search for example rules you will get few templates let's make it class rules and now you will have many templates that you can print and you can either frame it and hang it in your class or whatever you want to do another keyword is brainstorming and then you will get few templates for example this one or this one that you can use for class activities in a similar way you can search for other things like concept maps science worksheets math worksheets and other specific keywords related to these things so the second tab is elements and this is very important when you want to design something some digital product for example an ebook or a guide for teachers or a teachers presentation these are the things you can sell on teachers pay teachers or you can sell on amazon and i'm going to give you a few examples from my own account but this is the elements area where you can find various elements and in a similar way you need to understand what keyword is the most relevant for what you are searching for for example if i put math here and then i click on this graphics so this will show me many design elements related to mathematics that i can use in my own digital products if for example i am creating a teachers presentation or i am creating a lesson plan template myself i can do that starting from a template and then using my own elements from this area to make changes to that template and then i can sell for example a bundle of templates on teachers pay teachers which is a website where teachers sell their products and i have a separate video about that which you can watch similarly if i put shapes here and make sure that you are in appropriate sub tabs for example i am in graphics at the moment if i click on photos the result will be different so mostly the elements i choose is from the graphics area now the next tab is uploads and this is the area where you can upload your own designs which you have previously created or you have obtained from some other means from your computer now text is where you have a lot of text templates that you can use then we have this photos section where a lot of photos are available which you can use and you can also search for example if i type periodic table for chemistry i will get this periodic table and i can use this in my design and also there are some videos if for example you are preparing a presentation for your classroom you can get some videos related to your presentation video and photos are a good way for student engagement and now i'm going to show you some of my digital products that i have created in canva first let me show you my amazon kdp kindle direct publishing store and as you can see that i have many products here i think around 20 or 25 and most of these products i have created on canva and i'm going to show you some of these inside canva as well and this is not the main thing on which i work i just created this to test amazon kdp and these are called no content or low content books and these can be prepared normally in one day or two days there are some who can create these books maybe 10 a day but it normally takes me one or two day to prepare one of these books and in addition to canva sometimes i use latex as well and there are many latex videos on my channel where i have explained how to create cover pages how to create ebooks etc and as you can see that i have also placed few of my products on teachers pay teachers as well 
and some of these were sold as well but amazon proved to be better than teachers pay teachers for me and as you can see on my amazon dashboard that these books are selling occasionally these are selling and will continue to sell so not a bad investment of time and as you can see that with the time the number of sales are growing and now inside canva as you can see that these are the pages i have created for one of my wide puzzle book and these types of elements you can get in canva for free and i have placed a separate element on all of these pages now this is one of my teachers presentation that i am selling on teachers pay teachers i think on a topic of ratios and proportions so as you can see that all these slides are prepared in canva then these are some mazes that i have created in canva where students have to find the correct path based on the correct answer to any question and this is the maze and this is its solution for example if i click on that students have to find the equivalent term of this and whether this is correct or this is correct they have to find a way to the end so these types of mazes are very popular on teachers pay teachers that you can easily create on canva so teachers presentations worksheets mazes all these types of digital products can be created easily on canva so i think now you will get some idea how you can use canva as a teacher and as a content creator learning canva is almost a must for you so that is it for today i hope you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time